Welcome to our Client Appreciation Week. My name is Zena, and I'm so excited to take you through this week. I have decided that on this week, these little half hours, every morning at 8, I'm going to take you on a journey through your body. So we'll have a different part of your body every day. And today we're going to start with your spine, which is key spot to start with. And my intention is to give you a little bit of education about why you care about that part of your body, why you should care if you don't care. And then some just a little 20 to 25 minutes of work that you could repeat each day if that part of your body is something you feel like you want to work on that day. Or by the end of this whole week, you'll have little 20 minute segments you could do for any part of your body. And maybe you rotate that through your life every week to keep yourself strong and healthy. So for today's class, we're going to be using a foam roller as we address your spine. And the reason that I picked spine to start with is because obviously it's the central part of your body. And also I really am a big proponent of neutral posture. So I wanna make sure that you guys understand what neutral posture is and that you can carry that into your lives because that's ultimately gonna keep you the strongest and your spine healthiest as possible. So to get started, I'm gonna have you take out your roller and we're gonna lay it on the floor. You're gonna lay right on top of it, along it. Again, if you don't have a roller, you could do this without the roller, just laying flat on the mat would work as well. So we're gonna come onto the roller and you want to align yourself first. So think about where you are in space. I'm gonna line my hips, knees and feet all in one line. And I'm going to just sort of find the place where the roller is laying right across my spine. And then I'm going to just stretch the back of my neck a little bit to get some length at the back of the neck. And then as I lay here, I'm going to just, I just want you to think for a minute about where you're feeling pressure points. So I have a lot of pressure on my tailbone. I have no pressure in my lower back. There's a little curve there. I have some pressure right at the back of my breastbone here. And then pressure right at the back of my head. And so laying in this position, we have hit our ideal neutral spine. So if I could, I'd get you standing up and glue a roller to your back and make you walk around with it or stand and work with it all day long. So this is a great place to come to reset your posture and alignment. And then from here, we're just going to take your arms up to the sky. Right? I'm going to have you reach the fingertips up and drop them down. We call this shoulder slaps. And the reason that we are doing this now is just because we want to create mobility around our stable spine. So we're just going up, release, reach up, inhale, and release, reach up, inhale, and release. One more time, reach up, and release. And then you're going to take one arm, reach it over your head, back towards the floor, and then bring it back up, other arm. So all this you want to do without moving the position of your spine. So my upper spine, my rib cage, everything stays really still here, reaching back with one arm and up, and reaching back and up, alternating, right, and then making sure that the rib cage stays stable. So you don't want to be arching as you reach back. It doesn't matter where your arm ends. I have the fortune of being really mobile, so my hands go all the way down, but maybe yours only goes part way. You want to keep that spine really still. And then let's take both arms back together and hold them there. So wherever your arms end is fine without lifting that rib cage. I'm going to take a breath in. And then exhale. Think about bringing the rib tips downward towards the spine just to, just to restore the neutral position of that upper spine. Another breath in. And exhale. Restoring that neutral spine. And one more time, breath in and exhale. Good. And then you're going to open your arms out to the side. Let your chest stretch open here. So opening this upper body is really going to help our upper posture. Our head and neck can't sit up straight if our upper back and shoulders are too tight and rolled forward. So that's what we're working for here, keeping this all open. And then if it's comfortable for you, you can slide the arms down and around and then up and over. If that bothers your shoulders, you could just stay with the arms out to the side. There's no problem with that. So we're going up, over, and around. 
and then up over and then find a place where you feel like you're getting more stretch again so or the most stretch so just holding there allowing that stretch to kick in for a minute if you're really um, tight or loose and you want more you can actually just roll a little bit to one side and a little bit to the other that will really open up these pec muscles here in the front of your body good and then relax bring the arms down by your side so the other part of being able to hold neutral spine is strength in your deep abdominals so this exercise is a nice little test something to come back to to check on yourself to see what how you're progressing so here if you could take one leg to tabletop and you're going to take your arm opposite arm up to the sky so i want to see you want to see if you can hold steady here you don't want to be pushing hard into the floor with your hand or your foot you want to just hold here keeping that low belly engaged still in that neutral spine so holding really steady and then you're going to extend your arm and leg away from your center and bring them back so holding really steady here as you go try not to let the roller wobble at all so if you already are good at this one you can take both arms up and have both arms going at the same time and you really want to think about energizing yourself stabilizing yourself from your center here so going out and in right and if this is uh, enough for you stay here or with one arm down and if you still need more challenge you'll go straight leg up and lowering down straight leg up and lowering down so any level of this exercise working your way up to the harder ones is what you want to do and up and then let's hold there and bring your leg back down take your arms down we'll switch sides so bringing your other leg to tabletop we're going to bring your opposite arm up and then same thing exhaling out inhaling back trying to feel that you're holding yourself really steady here in the middle and so my belly's pulling in but my spine is still neutral i still have that curve back here and you shouldn't be feeling any work in your back right now you should be just holding steady good and then we'll take both arms up if you can out and in and out and in and then if you need more challenge you can do the straight leg going down and up but all the while holding steady keeping that roller really still down and up or out and in and one more and up nice go ahead and bring that leg down great so then a lot of what we need to do to hold your spine steady is to strengthen your abdominals so it's always a challenge to get that strong enough We'll start here with a little rib cage control and or upper ab curl. So if you put your hands on your ribs, you want to take a breath in and then you're going to exhale. The rib cage is going to come towards your center, so almost like you're trying to knit it across your body and then release. And one more time exhaling, rib cage knits and what I want you to feel like is that it's almost trying to get your head to come up a little bit and then release. So if you cannot roll your head up, you're going to stay with this. If you can roll your head up, you'll take your hands behind your neck, really supporting that neck. So we don't have to think about what the neck is doing right now. You're going to hug your neck with your hands, take a breath in, exhale, stretch the neck long with your hands, ribs drop down and you're coming up into the upper ab curl here. And then reversing that motion back down and exhaling, coming upward. Reversing that motion back down. Exhale coming up and reversing down. So if you're not rolling your head up, you're going to keep your hands on your rib cage and keep working on knitting those ribs together. And then we're going to hold up here at the top or hold those ribs down and you're going to come up just a little bit more and slowly part way down, up a little, part way down. Up a little, part way down, up a little, part way down. So take a look as you go, keep going. that your tailbone's not curling up. If it is, stick it back into the roller. That shouldn't have moved. We're still holding that neutral position. Up, part way down. Up, part way down. Up, part way down. And up, part way down. Go reaching across and part way down. Across, down. Across, down. across keeping nice and controlled that roller should be super steady across down across down 
across, down, across, and center, switching sides, supporting that neck really nicely with your arm and going across and down. You can also do this head down just like the other one. You just keep your head down and reach across in that diagonal. Okay. Across and down. Good, across, down, across, down, across, down, across, down, across, down, and across, and center. Good, roll your way back down. Whew, I hope you were feeling some of that. All right, we're gonna come off your roller. So you're gonna just roll to the side and move it out of the way for now. And then we're gonna stay on the mat here, laying flat. So here I'm gonna take a breath in, just warm up my lower spine a little bit and create some motion now. So using your abs though, so stick your fingers in your tummy, right inside your hip bones here. You're gonna, I like to have my feet and knees touching. That gives me a little more feedback. If you want, you could put a ball or pillow there as well. And then I'm gonna take a breath in. Exhale, low belly is gonna drop down and I'm gonna activate the muscles just inside my hip bones all without moving my spine. Right, one more time like that. Breath in, exhale, belly's sinking and I'm gonna activate there. Good. So now this time, we're going to start the same way, exhaling, belly sinks, lengthening the tail, rolling towards your flat back, and allowing the coccyx curl to happen, that tailbone curling, reaching long, and then you're going to reverse your way back down. And exhaling, belly sinks, lengthening through the spine, tails curling, rolling into the flat back, and inhaling back to neutral. And exhaling, belly sinks, rolling into that flat back. Good, just lengthening your spine. You're just heating up, just getting some motion in that lower part. One more time, belly sinks. So really activating those abs and rolling. And then inhaling back down to neutral. Great, let's take your legs to tabletop. And we're gonna take your hands behind your legs. So when we move to tabletop, we could pull the knees right in and totally round our back. Or we could leave the legs out about 90 degrees, hips and knees. And that way we are still more in our neutral spine. A lot harder to hold it here. See if you can, keep yourself right there. You're gonna take a breath in, exhale, press into the hands, belly's sinking, inhale to release. Exhale, press, belly sinks, and inhale to release. Exhale, press, Belly sinking, inhale to release. Exhale, press. Inhale, exhale, press. Really trying to get those abs to activate here to release, good. If you are struggling with this, stay with your hands behind your back. If you're very good at this, take your hands away. See if you can create that same feeling, sending the legs without the hands and inhale. Dropping the belly, send the legs. Make sure that you're not straining your back and that you're feeling the work in your tummy as you go. So I can't go very far and keep my spine in its correct position. Right, bending in, exhaling out, bending in, exhaling out, belly's sinking, inhaling back, exhaling out, inhaling back, and exhaling out, inhaling back. Great, we're gonna take the legs up to the sky. So try hands behind your knees again. Exhale, belly sinks, stretch those legs up towards the sky. Hold that belly in, inhale to bend. Exhale, press, sinking that belly, inhale to bend. Exhale, press, inhale to bend. Good, if you've got this and you wanna try without your hands, create that same work, inhale to bend. Feel like you're dropping your belly down and that drives the legs up from the backs of the legs Exhale, belly sinks. Imagine a string going through your belly, up the backs of the legs, reaching them to the sky, and bend two more. Belly sinks, reach, and bend. One more, exhale, reach. Hold it there. Your hands behind is absolutely fine, so make sure it's not in your back. If you're strong enough without, you're gonna pulse up, two hands on or off. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, good, hold it there. If you can roll your head up, you'll take your hands behind your neck 
and you're gonna roll your way up towards those legs and then reverse your way back down. If it, you can't roll your head up, hands go on the rib cage, squeezing the ribs down. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, ribs down, chest up or down, and reverse. Look at those knees, try and keep them straight, exhaling towards them. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, up. It's painful to go slow, isn't it? Inhale, reverse. And exhale, up, hold it there. You're gonna then come up with your legs towards your head and slightly away. Now, if this is too much, you're gonna come in with bent knees and slightly away. As you roll your head down, come in, tuck, and slightly away. Keep the work in your belly or straight leg version. Come in and reach slightly away. Come in up and slightly away. Please pick what's right for you, what's making your abs work and not your back work, yes? Coming up and away and up and away. Nice. This is the perfect place to throw in our hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna have you hold on to one of the legs, take the other one down or bend it on the floor. You're gonna try and hold on above your knee towards your ankle so that your back of your knee can stretch straight. If you can't reach that far, no worries. Just hold on where you can reach or potentially you could use a strap for this exercise. And what we wanna do is open up the hamstring. So what you're probably thinking, why do we wanna open up the hamstring if we're talking about our lower our spine and our back here? And the reason is because the hamstrings attach right into your buttocks, right at the base of your pelvis. So if they're pulling tight, they're gonna start pulling on your pelvis, which is gonna put a force on your lower back. And so one of the, my favorite ways to release discomfort in the lower back is to stretch the hamstrings and the glutes. So we're gonna do both those stretches here. When you're stretching, you wanna really give yourself time for the muscles to open up. So holding the stretches for a minute to two minutes, or even more if you can, really gives your body time to loosen and release. Great. So here, we're gonna collect this foot on the other knee and bring the other knee in, rotating the hips, rotating the right hip open. The ankle, make sure that that's not twisting, right? Nice strong ankle so it's not sickling while it's on top of your thigh. And then I can pull this knee in towards me to get a bigger stretch. I've got one hand on my knee, rotating it open, the other hand on the back of this thigh. And I want to make sure that my pelvis stays even. I don't want to twist my body to get into the stretch. I want to just try and open up this hip and glute. And then if you can, as you're tucked in here, try and work to put your tailbone back down to the floor. It's really nice hold there. Great. And then we're gonna switch sides, taking the other leg up towards the sky. You can reach to stretch to try and straighten up this knee as much as you can. Holding it there. The bottom leg could be bent if you're tighter or straight if you're more flexible. And then we just hold and wait for the muscle to have a chance to open up. Working hard to press that knee straight. Great. And then you're gonna cross over so that the foot is nice and strong on top of the knee, pushing the, the left knee wide and I can grab underneath this right leg and pull it in. Then I can work to sit my hips back down towards the floor. And holding there as you breathe into the stretch. Great. So here, I'm gonna have you unwind your legs and we're gonna roll right onto our hands and knees because one of the best ways to strengthen your spine is in one of my favorite positions, which if you know me well, you'll know what's coming. It's your plank. So any, any kind of plank that's right for you works wonderfully. You could be on your elbows if your wrists give you trouble. You could be on your knees if it feels too much to stretch the legs all the way out. You can pick which one you feel is best for you. I'll show you the kneeling version here. 
So kneeling version, I'm going to come onto my knees, feet, feet up, bent. I'm going to press the floor away with my hands. My neck is really nice and long. So we can align that whole spine, imagining that the roller is on our back again. I'm going to push away here. If you, have, if you have wrist problems, you can be down on your elbows. That's absolutely fine too, but that same rule applies. My neck is long. My tail is in line. I'm holding my body strong. Belly is pulling up into my spine, right? Or you, if you have more strength, you can reach out with your feet. This is actually my favorite one because I like to think about the plank and as if I would be standing up. So here I like to be standing in my plank. So my belly's pulling up, shoulders are pushing away from the floor, back of my neck is super long. So I feel like I could stand up and be in the correct position here. Then I have to keep checking on myself, pick up my belly. Is it wrapped into my back? Then maybe if my back is saggy, I want to think about my glutes wrapping underneath me, my legs super strong, right? You wouldn't want to stand on floppy legs, so we're not going to do that here either. Straighten up those knees, make sure they're super nice and strong. Again, check on the back of your neck, right? So here we go, just through our little check one more time. Back of the neck is long, elbows pulling in, stomach is tight, reaching long through those heels. Holding this position here, take a deep breath in, and exhale, keep holding, push that floor away, wrap the elbows, stretch the back of the neck, strengthen those legs. And then we're gonna lift our hips up to the sky, or if that's too much, you could go down into a bit of a child's pose. But see if you could reach up to the sky with your hips, reach back, sinking your feet, giving yourself a nice stretch here. With the straight legs, you can pedal out your feet, get the calves on stretch, a little bit unwinding there. Good. Bend the knees, open up the chest a little bit, relax the neck, make sure it's not tense. And then you're going to walk your feet in underneath you, bend your knees, bring your spine into a neutral position. So I'm going to come into neutral and press my way all the way up, reach right up to the sky, big breath in, and exhale down. All right. That went by really fast, but I hope you got some tools for your spine for this week. So come back tomorrow and all this week and we'll get through your whole body. And then we're going to introduce to you a challenge that we have later on this week for you guys to continue your work. If you have any questions or anything about what we just did, please feel free to reach out. You can email us, give us a call, send us a message. We'd be more than happy to help you answer questions and push you along in the right direction. So see if you can apply some of that neutral spine to your day and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you guys so much for being here.